Hey guys, Jonathan from G4 Guitar Schools in Blair Athol. So today we've got a third oral video for rhythm lesson number one. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is choosing six randomly chosen rhythms from our rhythm lesson one page and you at home are going to figure out which rhythm I'm playing. So like all the other, the other two videos we've done so far, we're going to be putting on the metronome and beat number one is a higher click. So we've got that one, two, three, four happening there. And that's going to help you to recognize beat number one. So that will help you recognize the rhythms. Okay, here we go. Here's the first one. Two, three, four. What rhythm was that one? So that there was in fact rhythm number nine. Okay, so let's check out another one now. Here we go. One, two, three, four. was that one. So that there was rhythm number two. So let's go to another one now. Right, here we go. One, two, three, four. What rhythm was that one, guys? So that there was rhythm number six. <coughs> All right, so let's do another one. Here we go, ready? Two, three, four. So that there was rhythm number 12. All right, let's do another one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, what rhythm was that one? That there was rhythm number 10. All right, so let's do another one. Here we go. Ready? Listen to that beat. One, two, three, four. rhythm was that one? So that there was rhythm number one. All right. So oral is a really important part of any sort of learning an instrument, especially the guitar. So we use a lot of these things, our ears, to not only work out songs that we want to be able to play or work out how to strum a particular song if we get the chords off the internet or if someone told us what the chords were um, or we figured them out by listening to our ears, with our ears, but also to play in bands. So it's really important to be listening to everyone in the band, not just yourself or the singer, but everyone. Uh, if no one, if everyone's listening to each other, you're going to be really tight. If no one's listening to each other, rhythm is just going to be everywhere. So it's really important to use these oral skills of rhythm to not only learn how to play a song that we want to be able to do, but also to work with bands or to work with other musicians. 
So if you've got any questions about the oral components at all, please ask me in the comments box below, send me an email, or you can alternatively talk to your local G4 guitar teacher. My name is Jonathan from G4 Guitar Schools in Blair Athol. Enjoy the rest of your day.